a Wikividi documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Godra Train Burning The Godra Train Burning was an incident that occurred on the morning of 27 February 2002, in which 59 people died in a fire inside the Sabarmati Express train near the Godra railway station in the Indian state of Gujarat. The victims included Hindu pilgrims who were returning from the city of Ayodhya after a religious ceremony at the disputed Babri Masjid site. The commission set up by the government of Gujarat to investigate the train burning spent six years going over the details of the case and concluded that the fire was arson committed by a mob of 1,000 to 2,000 people. A commission appointed by the central government, whose appointment was later held to be unconstitutional, stated that the fire had been an accident. A court convicted 31 Muslims for the incident and the conspiracy for the crime, although the actual causes of the fire have yet to be proven conclusively. The event is widely perceived as the trigger for the Gujarat riots that followed, which resulted in widespread loss of life, destruction of property and homelessness. Estimates of casualties range from the official figures of 790 Muslims and 254 Hindus, to upwards of 2,000 casualties. The 27th of February 2002 Incident In February 2002, thousands of devotees of Rama had gone from Gujarat to Ayodhya at the behest of the Vishva Hindu Parishad to take part in a ceremony called the Purnahuti Mahayagna. On 25th of February, 1,700 people, a mix of pilgrims, and Kasavaks boarded the Sabarmati Express which was bound for Ahmedabad. On 27 February 2002, the train made its scheduled stop. At Godra about four hours late. At 7.43 am. As the train started leaving the platform, someone pulled the emergency brake. And the train stopped near the signal point. The driver of the train later stated that the chain had been pulled multiple times, judging by the instruments in his cabin. The train was attacked by a mob of around 2,000 people. After some stone pelting, four coaches of the train were set alight, trapping many people inside. 59 people including 27 women and 10 children were burnt to death, and 48 others were injured. According to J. Mahapatra, additional director general of the Gujarat police, Miscreants had kept the petrol-soaked rags ready for use much before the train had arrived at Godra. Martha Nussbaum has challenged this narrative, stating that several inquiries have found that the conflagration was an accident rather than a planned conspiracy. Modu Kishwar has blamed the amazing distortions introduced by Congress and its leftist allies as the reason why the facts are not widely known and accepted. Forensic Science Laboratory Report a study conducted by the Gujarat Forensic Science Laboratory report states that 60 litres of inflammable liquid had been poured into coach S6 of the train using a wide mouth container. It had been poured by standing on the passage between the northern side door of the eastern side of the coach, which had been set on fire immediately thereafter. The report also concluded that there had been heavy stone pelting on the train. Appointment on 6 March 2002 the Gujarat government set up a commission of inquiry to investigate the incident and submit a report, the chairman, and sole member of which was retired Gujarat High Court Judge K.G. Shah. However, Shah's alleged closeness to Narendra Modi generated fierce criticism from the victims, human rights organizations, and political parties, and led to a demand for the appointment of a Supreme Court judge to the commission. As a result, the government reconstituted the commission into a two-member committee, appointing retired Supreme Court Judge G.T. Nanavati to lead the commission, which thus became known as the Nanavati Shah Commission. Shah died in March 2008, just a few months prior to the committee submitting its first report. And the Gujarat High Court then appointed retired Judge Akshay Kumar Mehta to the committee on 6 April 2008. The commission during its six-year probe, examined more than 40,000 documents and the testimonies of more than 1,000 witnesses. The initial term of the committee was three months long. However, it received 22 extensions, till June 2014, to submit its final report. Report In September 2008, the Commission submitted the Part 1 of the report dealing with the Godra incident. 
in which it supported the conspiracy theory originally propounded by the Gujarat police. Malvi Hussain Haji Ibrahim Mamaji, a cleric in Godra, and a dismissed Central Reserve Police Force officer named Nanumian were presented as the masterminds behind the operation. The evidence marshaled by the committee in favor of this conclusion was a statement made by Jabba Binyamin Bera, a criminal in custody, at the time, although he later denied giving any such statement. In addition, the alleged acquisition of 140 litres of petrol hours before the arrival of the train and the storage of the petrol, at the guest house of Razik Kirka, accused of being a key conspirator, and forensic evidence showing that fuel was poured on the train coach before it burnt, was presented by the committee. The report concluded that the train was attacked by thousands of Muslims from the signal failure area. Reactions the Communist Party of India and the Indian National Congress objected to the exoneration of the Gujarat government by the Commission citing the timing of the report as evidence of unfairness. Congress spokesperson Veer Appamoyli commented, at the strange absolvement of the Gujarat government for complacency for the carnage before the Commission's second and final report had been brought out. The CPI said that the report reinforced communal prejudices. The Commission has been heavily criticized by academics such as Christoph Jaffrelot for obstructing the cause of justice, supporting the conspiracy theory too quickly, and for allegedly ignoring evidence of governmental complicity in the incident. Appointment and Report On 17 May 2004, with the victory of the United Progressive Alliance in the Indian general election, Lalu Prasad Yadav was appointed Railway Minister. In September 2004, two and a half years after the train burning, Yadav appointed former Supreme Court Justice Umesh Chandra Banerjee to investigate the incident. In January 2005 Banerjee presented his interim report, which tentatively ascribed the fire as an accidental fire, after ruling out other theories. He cited a forensic report stating that the injuries on the victims were only compatible with an internal fire. The report was also critical of the railway's handling of the evidence relevant to the case. High Court Judgment Bamaji's findings were challenged in the Gujarat High Court by Nilkanth Tulsida Spadio, who was injured in the incident. In October 2006, the court quashed the conclusions of Banerjee and ruled that the investigation was unconstitutional, illegal and null and void, declared its formation to be a colorable exercise of power with Marla Fide intentions, and its argument of accidental fire, opposed to the prima facie accepted facts on record. The High Court also directed that the report should not be tabled in the Parliament. Reactions The BJP, which was then in opposition in the Union Parliament, dismissed the report as an attempt to gain an advantage advantage in the Bihar elections which were to be held soon. It welcomed the High Court judgment, saying that it was a setback for the Congress. Lalu Prasad Yadav, then the Minister for Railways, cited the report as proof that the Narendra Modi government had organized the riots that followed, and called it an exposure of the BJP. Arrests By 28 February 2002, 51 people had been arrested for the incident on charges of arson rioting and looting. One of the alleged organizers of the attack was arrested in West Bengal. West Bengal's chief secretary, Soran Roy, said the detainee was a commander of the Muslim radical group Harkatul Jihadi Islami, who was allegedly attempting to enter Bangladesh. On 17 March 2002, chief suspect Haji Bilal, a local town councillor, was captured by an anti-terrorist squad in Godra. The fur had alleged that a 1,540-strong mob attacked the Sabarmati Express on 27 February. Minutes after the delayed train left the Godra station on the day of the incident, the president of Godra municipality, Muhammad Hussain Kalota, was arrested in March. Others arrested included corporators Abdul Razak and Shiraj Abdul Jamshah. Bilal was also alleged to have a connection with gang leader Latif and was reported to have visited Karachi in Pakistan several times. The charge sheet filed by the sit before first class railway magistrate P.K. Joshi, which ran to more than 500 pages, stated that 59 people were killed in the S6 coach of Sabar Marty Express when a mob of around 1,540 unidentified people attacked it near Godri railway station. 
The 68 people accused in the charge sheet included 57 accused of stoning and torching the train. The charge sheet also stated that a mob attacked the police, prevented the fire brigade from approaching the burning train, and stormed the train, for a second time. Eleven others were charged with being part of this mob. Initially, 107 people were charged, five of whom died while the case was still pending in court. Eight others were juveniles, who were tried by a separate court. As many as 253 witnesses were examined during the trial and over items of 1,500 documentary evidences were presented to the court. On 24 July 2015, the prime accused in the Godra case, Hussain Suleiman Muhammad, was arrested by the Godra crime branch from Jabua district of Madhya Pradesh. On 18 May 2016, a heretofore missing conspirator of the event, Farrakh Bana, was arrested from Mumbai by Gujarat anti-terrorist squad. On 30 January 2018, Yakub Patalia was arrested from Godra by a team of B Division police in the town after they received a tip-off that he was spotted in a locality. Prevention of Terrorism Act and Trial On 3 March 2002, the Prevention of Terrorism Ordinance was invoked against all the accused which was later suspended due to pressure from the central government. On 9 March 2002, police added criminal conspiracy to the charges. In May 2003, the first charge sheet was filed against 54 accused, but they were not charged under the Prevention of Terrorism Act. In February 2003, the Potter was re-invoked against all the accused after the BJP retained control of the Gujarat legislature in the 2002 assembly elections. In November 2003, the Supreme Court of India put a stay on the trial. In 2004, the Potter was repealed after the United Progressive Alliance came to power, prompting it to review the invocation of the Potter against the accused. In May 2005, the Potter Review Commission decided not to charge the accused under Potter. This was later unsuccessfully challenged by a relative of the victim before the Gujarat High Court and later on appeal before Supreme Court. In September 2008, the Nanavati Commission submitted its report on the incident. In 2009, after accepting the report of the special investigation team appointed by it, the court appointed a special fast-track court to try the case along with five other fast-track courts established to try the post-incident riots. The bench hearing the case also said that public prosecutors should be appointed in consultation with the SIT chairman. It ordered that the SID would be the nodal agency for deciding about witness protection and also asked that it file supplementary charge sheets and that it may cancel the bail of the accused. More than 100 people were arrested in relation to the incident. The court was set up inside the Sabarmati Central Jail, where almost all of the accused were confined. The hearing began in May 2009. Additional sessions Judge P. R. Patel was designated to hear the case. In May 2010, Supreme Court restrained the trial courts from pronouncing judgment in nine sensitive riot cases, including Godra train incident. The trial was completed in September 2010. However, the verdict could not be delivered because of the Supreme Court stay. The stay was lifted in January 2011, and the judge announced that he shall pronounce the judgment on the 22nd of February 2011. Court verdict. In February 2011, the trial court convicted 31 people and acquitted 63 others, saying the incident was a planned conspiracy. The convictions were based on the murder and conspiracy provisions of sections 302 and 120b of the Indian Penal Code respectively, and under sections 149, 307, 323, 324, 325, 326, 332, 395, 397, and 436 of the Code and some sections of the Railway Act and Police Act, the death penalty was awarded to 11 convicts. Those believed to have been present at a meeting held the night before the incident, where the conspiracy was formed, and those who, according to the court, had actually entered the coach and poured petrol before setting it afire. 20 others were sentenced to life imprisonment. Malvi Said Amaji, who was believed by the SIT to be the prime conspirator, was acquitted along with 62 other accused for lack of evidence. 
the convicted filed appeals in the Gujarat High Court. The state government also challenged the trial court's decision to acquit 61 persons in the High Court and sought death sentences for 20 convicts awarded life imprisonment in the case. Gujarat High Court Verdict Gujarat High Court changed the death sentence of 11 accused to life imprisonment. All 31 accused found guilty in 2011 were given life imprisonment. 63 accused who were acquitted in 2011 by trial court, were acquitted once again by High Court. The court asked the state government and railways to pay 10 lakhs compensation to the victims. Reactions to the SIT investigation BJP spokesperson Shah Nawaz Hussain stated, The theory propagated by the government and some NGOs has been proved wrong. Law Minister Veer Apamoyli said it was premature to comment and that the courts will take their own course. R. K. Raghavan, who was the head of the special investigating team, said he was satisfied with the verdict. BJP spokesperson, Ravi Shankar Prasad said the verdict had exposed the nefarious designs of the UPA government which tried to cover up the entire episode. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?